Hey everybody, David Plummer and Michael Ferguson here from Aerial Influence. It is time to talk about drones, episode six. This is our final episode of this podcast series. We'll be back with more seasons in the near future, but this one has been focusing specifically on answering your question. It's the AI Q&A. Michael's got a question for us. What is the first question, Michael? From Steven, put an FPV watch on each of the officers so they can also have the FPV feed as a resource in situations where drones are necessary. All right, so, so this is in reference to a video we did uh, a couple months ago. Uh, basically, I've been sort of going down this FPV rabbit hole uh, over the past few months where I'm trying to figure out how can, you know, the FPV drones, while they're very fun as well, but how can they be used for professional purposes too? And, and right. specifically, we were talking about using them for SWAT teams. So we did a whole video where we uh, literally found a guy, a friend of mine named Caesar, who I found on Facebook. He's a friend of mine now. We didn't know each other then. Uh, and he's been teaching me all sorts of stuff about FPV. Mm -hmm. He came out and did uh, sort of a SWAT team exercise and showed them what that drone could do, how it could clear entire buildings um, without ever putting a police officer at risk. Right. So thought that was super, super interesting. And what he is, what this guy here is, is actually proposing is interesting. Basically, it would be a watch that would have the viewpoint from the drone, the live mm -hmm. view from the drone on every SWAT member's watch so they could see where that drone was at all times yeah. and hopefully keeping them safe as well. And I think they actually have something like that. Yeah. Um, but I, one of the other things, I mean, obviously we wanted to read this uh, question because it led into obviously FPV and you've been kind of uh, digging into that. But uh, then we also got someone... Um, an officer that was in Canada, and he's really trying to spearhead this. Yeah. Where, and and talking to him, it makes a lot of sense because what he's saying is that you know obviously FPV is a very different type of flight. Yes, very different. Um, you have to know what you're doing. But his, what he's suggesting too is that you also need to know all the nuances of you know, a SWAT operation, right? All the different types of SWAT operations, what they're going, you gotta what know they're their going lingo, through. You got to know they're, their it, verbiage for everything. You got to know what they're talking exactly. about. Exactly. Yeah. So his, his idea is that the communication between the FPV and the SWAT officer, it, and obviously, you know, that, that seems like you should, you, you can say without saying, but I think you really need to address it because you could have a great FPV flyer that knows nothing about SWAT and, it could be, you know, a bad idea. It could be detrimental because that exactly. guy could go in not knowing what he's actually doing. You and know. it could just, yeah, screw up the operation. So I, um, this is a good question. Yes, some of the officers that maybe aren't going into the building, I doubt that the SWAT officers are going to be, you know, going in, you know, looking at a watch, whether it's an eye monocle or something like that, that may be something. But I think communication between the two is probably the real key. Yeah. And um, it's something that we're going to be continuing yeah. to go down. Yeah. And I do think there's a place for FPV in this world. I think, like you said, the training is going to be different. You're not going to be able to just take a DJI pilot and say, here, go fly this uh, FPV drone. It's not the way it works. It takes lots of practice, lots of practice on uh, a simulator, a flight simulator mm -hmm. that anybody can do on like their computer. Uh, but it does take a lot of work. But eventually I do see this all coming together. Potentially drone teams will consist of more than just, you know, a drone pilot, but there might be an FPV drone pilot specifically right. for certain uh, procedures. So, yeah, great question. Uh, and, you know, I think it is just going to continue to grow yes. and yeah. uh, continue to make things safer uh, for different police officers around the country. So I wanted to finish this series off with one more question. This comes from Matt Horwich. Matt says, where do you fellas teach drone classes? I'm an old UFC yeah. fighter interested in learning drones and robotics. Nikki Six was wanting to learn about drones also. Now, now Matt, I don't know if you know Nikki Six, uh, but he is, if you don't, that was a weird comment to make. I, I hope you do know <laughs> Nikki Six. He's but, welcome. Hey, anytime Nikki Six, anybody from Motley Crue, anyone from an 80s hair band, if they want to come fly a drone, oh, yeah. they are more than welcome to come to us. But we do teach classes here at our location in uh, Elburn, Illinois. It's about 45 minutes west of Chicago. We will also go on call. We will go anywhere in the country. Uh, obviously, we just have to come up with uh, the proper pricing on that, uh, making sure that you're getting what you need from us. But yes, and not only that, but we're also available for virtual classes as well. So we can hook up to you from our location 
anywhere around the world. So we are grateful for all the people that put questions in, that submitted these questions or comments. We're sorry we're not better at getting around to it. We figured this would be a good way to, good way to, to take care of some of this stuff. We appreciate you watching. We're gonna be back with season five. We're pretty sure we're just waiting for our financiers to let us know if they're gonna back a season five uh, series. I think we're gonna do it. I think we're gonna be able to pull uh, it I think off. we're gonna get it. I hope so too. Yeah. Uh, we appreciate you watching and we will see you next time.